Okay, let's have some real fun here and solve these equations. And you can see it's only going to take us one step to find the solution. So we have four practice problems here, and uh, they're going to be a little bit different. I chose them specifically because each problem we're going to have to do something a little bit different. But this is not difficult, and this is basic algebra. So if you're taking maybe pre-algebra or beyond, you definitely need to know this. And so uh, we're going to go ahead and review basic one-step equations. Now, if you can do these uh, problems, go ahead and pause the video. It should take you all about, oh, I don't know, one minute to get all the solutions. You can put those into the comment section if you like, but of course, I'm going to teach you exactly how to solve these one-step equations in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades. And over those years, I've kind of come up with this, a particular type of teaching style where I like to believe I teach ultra clear and understandable so anyone and everyone can learn mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out. Now, if you happen to be preparing for some sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, or maybe like a teacher certification exam. I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, you absolutely must check out my middle and high school math courses. As I just won a big uh, award, my courses actually won number one in those categories by a very, uh, by a very large uh, national publication. Uh, so check those out if you're interested. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get right to it. One-step equations, and of course, this is basic algebra. But before we go any further, let me just uh, tell you, after you learn these one-step equations, you're going to move on to something called two-step equations, and then you'll ultimately move on to something called multi-step equations. And I'm going to be making videos on all these uh, topics. So let's get in to some basic principles about solving equations, okay? All right, so the whole idea behind solving equations is this. Whatever we have on the left-hand side, okay, needs to equal the right-hand side. That's what the equal sign uh, basically implies. Now, you can think of it as a, a scale. So if I put 10 pounds over here, what would I need to have on this side to balance this out? Well, I would have to have 10 pounds as well. Now, if I add one pound, or let's say we'll add two pounds on this side of the scale, okay, what happens to the scale? Well, it gets out of whack, right? The left-hand side becomes heavier than the other side, than the right-hand side. So to get this back in balance, I would have to do one or two things, either remove these uh, two pounds here or just add two pounds over here. And this is one of the most basic concepts about solving equations in algebra is this. Uh, when you're looking at an equation, whatever you do to one side of the equation, for uh, example here, we added two pounds, you could do that as long as you do whatever you do to one side, you do equally to the other side. This is the number one rule that you need to follow when solving uh, equations in algebra. Okay, so whatever you do to this side of the equation, you must equally do to the other side because you always need to keep that equation in balance. Okay, so now uh, let's talk about some uh, operations that we're going to be using. So these are the basic math operations that you're familiar with. Um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So here's what I want you to think. Okay, when we're solving equations and we see addition, okay, we want to be thinking what we call the inverse operation. So the opposite of addition is subtraction. Okay, so when we see, again, an equation that involves, it has an addition sign in it, uh, when I'm talking about um, the sum of something, we're going to be thinking about using the subtraction operator. When we see subtraction, we're going to be thinking about using its opposite, which of course is addition. When we see multiplication, we're going to be thinking about using division. And when we see division, we're going to be thinking about using multiplication. Okay, so if you keep these two general concepts in mind here, again, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do equal to the other side and then keep these inverse operations in mind, well, then you're going to have, uh, I think, a very good chance of getting all these problems correct. So let's go ahead and get into our actual practice problems right now. And uh, 
there's a couple ways stylistically, okay, you can write out how to do these prompts. I'm going to suggest that you follow my format. If your teacher uses another format, that's fine, but ultimately you would want to uh, use the way I'm going to teach you here. It is what I like to believe the best practice is in terms of writing equations. All right, so let's start off with this first one. We have m plus 2 is equal to 3. So the goal to solve uh, any equation is to figure out what value of m is, okay, uh, that makes this uh, statement true. So let's just um, just look at this real quick. So m plus what number, okay, uh, I, I'm sorry, m plus 2 is equal to 3. I could see, Now m is a variable, just represents a number. So if I asked you this question, hey, what number plus 2 is equal to 3? All of you would say, well, that's just 1 because 1 plus 2 is equal to three. So you can, you know, do some mental math and figure this out. But that's not the point here. The point here is to start uh, building our algebra knowledge set. So we know that M is going to be equal to one because if we replace this M with a one, it's going to make this left-hand side three. Okay, well, let me just write this out. One plus two, that's going to be equal to three. So three is equal to three is a true statement. Uh, so when I plugged in 1 here, this became uh, a true statement. So again, the left-hand side equals the right-hand side. That only happens when we actually have the correct solution here. Okay, so we know the answer is going to be 1, but uh, we're going to start off obviously easy here uh, to um, uh, practice solving these one-step equations. All right, so m plus 2 is equal to 1. What do I see here? I see an addition sign. Okay, so what is the opposite of addition? We'll just go quickly back up here again. You see addition, we're going to be thinking subtraction, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to use its inverse operation, which is subtraction. We're going to subtract 2 from this side of the equation, okay? I want m. I have m plus 2. I'm like, I just want to know what m is. So let's get rid of that 2 next to the m. Okay, fine. I'll subtract 2 from it. But what's the other golden rule of solving equations? Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I must do equally to the other side. And notice here how I'm writing these things in a column format. Okay, this is exactly how you want to do it. Now we're going to draw a little line like this, and then you're going to kind of add down, okay, in this way. So it's going to be m plus nothing is m. Uh, 2 minus 2 is 0. We don't need to write 0. We could just leave that empty. And then 3 minus uh, 2, okay, is 1. So m is equal to 1. Of course, we knew that, but this is the solution. Now, this is very, very easy. A lot of you are saying, I could just figure that out in my head. This is not the point. Okay, I could change the numbers here and make this more uh, interesting. But what we want to do is just learn the format and the basic concepts behind solving, um, you know, very, very, you know, basic algebra equations, which are the one-step equations. Okay, so if you understand that, we can kind of pick up the pace and move forward here with our second problem. So our second problem, we have y minus 5 is equal to 4. Now notice here I'm using a y, here's an m. It doesn't make a difference in algebra. You can use any variable um, that you want, or you could see any variable. Um, you know, typically it's a letter, uh, and it's fine. It doesn't change the equation, nothing like that. But here I have y minus 5 is equal to 4. So what am I thinking here? What's the opposite of subtraction? It's going to be addition. So what do I want to uh, add? I want to add a 5 here. I want y by itself. I have y minus 5, so we'll add a 5 so we can kind of get rid of this minus 5 here. But whatever I do to the left-hand side, I must equally do to the right-hand side. So this is the way we're going to write it. So y minus 5 is equal to 4. We're going to add 5 to both sides of the equation. That, again, is going to be the opposite um, or inverse um, operation of subtraction, which is addition. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add down in a column format y plus nothing is just y, uh, negative 5 or minus 5 plus 5 is 0. We don't need to write anything there. And then, of course, we have 4 plus 5, which is 9. So y is equal to 9. Now, you know, as you practice this, you'll get better um, at writing this because typically, uh, let me just go ahead and erase this. Let me do this again. When you show your work, and this is very, very critical, you want to show your work. Do not skip these steps and don't change this format. So when you go like this, you know that this negative 5, okay, uh, plus 5, or minus 5 plus 5 is going to be 0. So you can kind of write your y right there, y equals 9. Okay, so that is the solution. 
But uh, again, I'm breaking this down in its most basic parts so all of you can start building up your um, algebra skill sets. Okay, so let's move on to our last two problems. So here we have 2x is equal to 20. Okay, now first of all, we need to understand what is going on here. What is the operation? So we have addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, and division. What operation is this? Okay, well, if you see a number in front of a variable, like 2x, this means 2 times x. Okay, so this is multiplication. So if it's multiplication, what is the opposite of multiplication? It's division, right? So that's what we talked about. Let me just go back up here and refresh your memory. Remember, when we see multiplication, we're going to be thinking division. So let's go back and divide. Okay, so now we're going to have to divide. So we have 2 times x, all right, or 2 being multiplied by x. That's what that means in algebra. So let's go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by what? Well, 2. Okay, so we're going to divide the left-hand side by 2 and the right-hand side by 2 because 2 divided by 2 is 1 or 1x, one and of course that's going to be equal to 10. But in algebra, we don't need to write a 1x. That's the same thing as x is equal to 10. So y, for example, is the same thing as 1y, but nobody really writes, uh, writes that 1, but you need to understand that, in fact, there is a 1 there. So that's basically the goal. When we're solving equations, we want to get that variable all by itself on the left-hand side. Matter of fact, let's add that to our little golden rule over here. Okay, so we talked about whatever we do to one side of the equation, we're going to do equally to the other side. But uh, in general as well, you want to get all your variables to the left and all your numbers to the right. Okay, so of course, you know, I'm not going to be able to teach you every single thing about solving equations in, uh, solving equations in this one uh, uh, little video. But, uh, you know, if you're understanding everything so far, then that's, you know, very, very good. Okay, so x is equal to 10. That is the solution. And now let's go ahead and uh, wrap it up with this one. Now here, this, this, I left this one for last because this can be uh, kind of confusing for uh, algebra students. So we have one-third times t. So a lot of you are saying, okay, we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Isn't this the same thing as uh, multiplication? Because this is one-third times t. That's what I just showed you over here, that a number, and that number can be a fraction as well. In front of a variable, that's called a coefficient. That does mean multiplication. But when, here's what I want you to understand. When you see a fraction in front of a variable like this, I, would, um, I want you to think of that as division because we have one-third divided by three or one divided by three. It's just going to make this easier. Now, here, okay, we could follow this same pattern and say, okay, one-third times t. I could simply divide both sides of the equation by one-third to get the answer, okay? That is uh, entirely uh, correct to do this. However, I'm going to give you more of a shortcut way to think about this, and this is in alignment uh, with what I'm talking about with inverse operations. So if we think of this as di uh, division, we're going to want to use multiplication to solve. So let me show you how to do that now. So what is the goal The goal of solving these equations? To get the t by itself on the left-hand side, right, or a 1t. Now, how can I get a 1t if I have 1 third times t? How can I get a 1t one, uh, a one uh, uh, on the left-hand side? Well, here's the trick, okay? Whatever this fraction is right here, what we're going to do is we're going to flip it upside down, okay? So if I flip 1 third upside down, what is that? That's 3 over 1, okay? So you're going to multiply the left-hand side by, we're going to flip this fraction, you're going to multiply the left-hand side and the right-hand side by that, we call that the reciprocal. So this is going to be 3 over 1, okay? So we're using multiplication. We're thinking of this as uh, division, so we're going to use multiplication to solve, and this is super easy. So when we multiply fractions, uh, 3 over 1 times 1 third is the same thing as 3 over 3 or 1, okay, or 1t. So, um, if you don't know your fractions, go back and review basic fractions because you're definitely going to need to know fractions to solve equations. And then on the right-hand side, I have 7 times 3 over 1. Of course, 3 over 1 is the same thing as 3. So this is uh, 7 times 3, which is 21. So t is equal to 21. Now, if I divided both sides of the equation by 1 third, 
you would ultimately come up with this solution T is equal to 21 as well. Uh, but this is a better way to think about it when you're dealing with fractions. Now, in these uh, examples, I didn't really even get into positive and negative numbers and, you know, more interesting values. But that's not the point. This is like really to get you to understand these basic concepts um, of using inverse operations and keeping uh, the equation in balance, i.e. whatever you do to one side of the equation to do equally to the other side. So how did you do? Did you know all this stuff? I mean, it's one thing to get all the answers right, but it's another thing. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and give you a few different levels of a happy face here. If you got all the answers right, I'm going to give you a happy face. But if you understood uh, how and all these principles, I'm going to give you a happy face with a good old 1986 flat top haircut. That was a pretty cool haircut way back in the good old days. Those of us that wore that probably don't have as much hair anymore up there. Uh, but of course, I'm speaking for myself. But anyways, that was pretty cool, just like your knowledge of algebra in terms of one-step equations. But uh, here's the deal, right? Um, if this video helped you out in some small way, then please consider helping me out by smashing the like button. And I'm glad that I helped you out. That's the uh, reason why I make these videos. But uh, watching me do math, watching this is don't be deceived, okay? Unless you follow through and practice this a lot, it's not going to sink in. So you've got to practice on your own. Watching me do math is not going to actually increase your uh, math skills. The only way you're going to improve in mathematics is through practice. So I have a ton of other videos on equations uh, in my um, or on my uh, various playlists in my YouTube channel. But if you really, really want to learn this, I'm going to suggest any one of my algebra courses, starting from pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, whatever level you might be in, will definitely help you out. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your help and have a great day.